They came in their hundreds to declare their support for Somalia's new president. Men, women and children gathered at this central square to welcome Wednesday's election result of Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo, widely seen as the people's choice. An experienced politician, the former prime minister, now elected Somalia's ninth president, has a huge task ahead and the public is already optimistic about his presidency. This is our country and we want security, peace and stability to be your priorities. Mr. President, that's what we want from you. We are your public. We support you and congratulate you on your win. We hoped Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo would be elected. We now want him to live up to his expectations. We want him to address security challenges faced by women and children and our army. Let's all celebrate our president. In his acceptance speech, the 54-year-old newly elected president announced fighting corruption among his administration's top priorities. President Farmajo inherits the same old challenges faced by his predecessor. But many, including the country's youth, hope he'll improve the country's economy, create employment opportunities for the country's youthful population. Corruption has been the most thing that has put our country behind. We hope that it, he eradicates it. We also hope, as the youth, that he creates employment. The youth are really migrating from this country because of unemployment. President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo now has a huge task ahead. He's faced by massive corruption. He will have to overcome this, and one way to deal with it will be to ensure government appointees are hired based on experience and knowledge, and not based on clan bases, same political ideology, or through friendship. In this exclusive interview with CGTN, President Farmajo says he has a plan to improve the country's security, capitalize on the public trust, and tackle what he terms Somalia's biggest challenge, corruption. In order to win this war, you have to have the population, the Somali people, on your side. To do that, you have to bring a good governance. You have to have good government by fighting uh, corruptions and to have a capable uh, people in the government. But his biggest challenge will be how to end Al-Shabaab, that's waged a decade-long relentless guerrilla war to ask the internationally backed governments in Somalia. Farmajo enjoys great support from the country's security forces, including the military, among his campaign pledges to improve the welfare of the country's national army. Under the Somali constitution, President Farmajo has exactly 30 days to name a prime minister who will in turn form a new government. And as Somalis across the globe and on social media continue to express solidarity for Somalia's new president, many say his first major test will be his choice for Prime Minister. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.